Praise God. Amen. I believe that God's going to move mightily in it. I believe the Lord's given Brother Jeff a good word to minister. Amen. And we just pray that he bring in lost souls, that they get saved. I tell you, now more than ever is the time that people need to be making their lives right with Jesus. Amen. Yeah. I just uh, I've been I've been burdened over the last few weeks about the state of the church, the way the church is going. This, you know, the church today is not the church in the book of Acts. Come on. It's not the church that the Lord wants it to be. Amen. And it's really sad because we've got and what I feel and my and, and what I'm thinking is we got churches out there in competition with who's better, with who can preach the best, who can sing the best, who's got the best outreach programs. Come on. Praise God that churches do these things, amen to God, that they sing, that they try to reach out. But we've got to get back to the point that we're, we're on the same team. Come on. Where we're serving the same God, where we're trying to help one another, build up one another, not tear each other down. Amen? Come on. And Facebook is one of the biggest... We can use it's one of the biggest things we can use for for the glory of God, but it can also be used to create division, Come on. to cause strife, to just cause a mess of things. Yeah. And I'll tell you tonight, if we're going to see true revival hit the body of Christ, Come on. it's time that the church repents, gets on their face, anything that's hindering them, keeping them <clears throat> from God moving in their lives, Come we on. need to make it right before true revival takes place. I believe that with every Come fiber of my being, Brother Billy. Amen. I believe true revival will not happen until repentance takes place first. Amen? Yeah. <clears throat> That's not a popular message. It's not very pre it's not preached much anymore. Come on. I mean when's the last time besides here and maybe Brother Swagger to a few other churches that you've actually heard somebody <clears throat> talk about the the soul of man. Amen. <clears throat> if you don't turn your life over to Jesus, amen to God, let him come into your life. Come on. Where are you going? Where are you going to end up? Yeah. Because once you leave this world, whether it be by the grave or whichever way, you're going to stand before the Lord. You're either going to go to heaven or you're going to go to hell. Amen? Come on. There's no two ways about it. And I'll tell you today, if we could get on the same page and, and there not be so much strife and division and fighting amongst ourselves, amen to God, Come on. we would see the move of God. We would see a great outpouring. You know, the Bible promises us that the former and the latter rain yeah. He would give us. Come on. He made that prophecy in the book of Joel, chapter two, and then they quoted it in Acts in the, I believe, the second chapter, if I'm not mistaken. Amen. Praise God. But I don't believe it's going to happen yeah. until the church gets right. Yeah. And the way the church is going today, they're on their way to hell. Come on. And I hate to say it. But the true remnant of God today, there is very few of them. Amen. And I believe, praise God, God has got to work for those out there. But they're going to have to get their head out of the world. Come get on. dabbling in the world. And they're going to have to start living for Jesus. I believe we've got to get back to holiness. Amen to God. Come on, Come on now. Hallelujah. If y'all agree with Come me, on. say amen. amen. Hallelujah. We've got to get back into living right, living by what this Word says right here and not amen. what man says. we got to get back to basing our lives on this Word. Every page, every jot, every tittle. Come amen on. to God. We've got to base our life on it. We've got to get our families in order, praise God. We've got to get them in back in the Word. Amen? Come on. Hallelujah. We can't do this on our own. We've got to have one another. Amen. But if there's constant fighting, Revival ain't going to take place. Come on. Hallelujah. So if you got your Bibles tonight, I, I'm not going to hold you long, but I've got, I, I was reading the other day, Sister Reese, and this jumped out at me. I love when it jumps out like that. Hallelujah. Come That's on. when you know it's God speaking. Amen. Amen. Go to Isaiah chapter 9, please, if you will. I get bothered by some preachers sometimes when they say, praise God, they're going to bring revival to the church because they can't bring revival to the church. It's only the Holy Ghost. Amen? Come on. Now, hallelujah to the Lamb of God. I can name a preacher right now who he says he's a revivalist. Yeah. And, uh, I mean, you know, praise God that they can, they can flow in the Spirit, but <laughs> hallelujah, we can't do it without the, the help of the Lord. 
Come on. It's the yeah. only. He is the only yeah. one that can yeah. bring revival. Praise Come God. Amen. Not us. Hallelujah. I don't care how much we pump it up, make it look good. Praise God. If the Holy Ghost ain't in it, praise God, it ain't going to be no revival there. Amen. Amen. It's going to be a valley of dead, dry bones. Amen. Come on. Oh, come on now. Don't shout me down. Yeah. Hallelujah. <clears throat> Isaiah chapter 9, beginning in verse 18. And if you have it, say amen. Amen. And the Bible says, For wickedness burneth as the fire. It shall divide the briars and the thorns, and shall kindle in the thickets of the forest. And they shall mount up like the lifting up of smoke. My goodness. You ever see, you ever see a big fire and then you see the smoke? Come on. And there's so much smoke from that fire, amen. Yeah. How many's ever burned tires before? Yeah. Come on. Boy, I mean that boy, you see some black smoke, boy. I mean it gets heavy and thick, amen to God. Yeah. Hallelujah. That's why you gotta do it at nighttime because they don't want you doing that during the day is too much. <laughs> Hallelujah. You get a lot of trouble for that. Hallelujah. Praise God, there's a story behind that, but I won't go into that, amen. Boy, some thick black smoke though, amen. It said in verse 19. Through the wrath of the Lord of hosts is the land darkened, and the people shall be as the fuel of the fire. No man shall spare his brother, and he shall snatch on the right hand and be hungry, and he shall eat on the left hand, and they shall not be satisfied, and they shall eat every man the flesh of his own arm. My goodness. You said that, that sounds tough right there. Yeah. That's a, uh, whoo, you dive into that, praise God. The thing that jumped out to me about that was back in verse 18. The last part of that about they shall mount up like the lifting up of smoke. He oh. said wickedness will burn as fire. Yeah. How many sees that today? All across, I'm just using America for instance. I'm not talking about the whole world here. I, I like this map right here because praise God, not only can you see everywhere, but you can also see the places that are living their faith. They're living for Jesus. Oh, yeah. Amen. Come on. And when you look over here in the United States of America, I don't see no persecution. Come on. I don't see no hostile area, no restricted nation. I see a nation that nothing's going on. Come on. We are one of the nations, praise God, that has every hallelujah to God. We have avenues, media, Hallelujah, through television, through radio, through internet, through all these many devices we got, MP3 yeah. players, iPhones, all this stuff, the, the Kindles now. <laughs> I mean, anything. You could just touch something, praise God, and have information at the snap of your finger. Come on. We've got all these avenues to take the gospel out yeah. of Jesus, the message of the cross. But praise God, we're using them for foolishness. <clears throat> Come on. And people want to talk about being persecuted for God. You don't see that here. But when you start looking at places like India and Ethiopia and Turkey and, and all these other places right here, China and Iran and all this, you start seeing being persecution right there because these people over there, when they get something from the Word of God, amen to God, and they try to go tell their families or friends about it, Come on. and when, when officials, law enforcement hear about it, they kill them. Yeah. They cut their body parts off. They poke their eyes out. I was reading the other day. There was a lady. She was 22 years old. I can't pronounce her name. She was like a Chinese lady. Hallelujah. The Lord knows. But she Come told on. her neighbor. She read the Sermon on the Mount to the neighbors, which they until told the law enforcement. They come out to her house and poked her eyes out mm. for sharing the Word of God. Now, how many of us in the United States of America, come on now, if we come try on. to talk about Jesus on the job site, we clam up and don't, we don't want to be made fun of. Yeah. But these people, praise God, they, they take it because that's everything. That's all they've got to hang on to. Amen? Wickedness is burning hard across this land. Come like on. a fire across the nation. Yeah. Hallelujah. And Isaiah seen it here. He spoke it by the Spirit. I'll tell you, I believe He spoke it for today. Come on. We've got a president who, I mean, if you just be honest, he's a Muslim. Come on. He's not a Christian. Amen? He don't want to come right out and say it. They're going to impeach the man, which it wouldn't be a bad thing. I know I said that. Amen? I'll probably get hounded by the IRS now. Come on. 
But you know, this nation, praise God, we had presidents years ago who stood upon the Word of God. That was what they had, praise God, when they had their meetings. The Word of God. Amen. Thus saith the Lord. How can we make this nation better? Thus saith the Lord. Come on. We'll take a stand on the Ten Commandments when they would have them in the schoolhouse and in the courthouse, praise God. But now we don't see that. What we see is a nation that's worse than Sodom and Gomorrah. Come on. Amen. 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 Brother, you preached a message the other Sunday that I tell you, my mouth was just like I couldn't have said it better. Come on. Hallelujah. Thank God you listened to the Holy Ghost. Thank God you spoke that word. Amen to God. About revival. Yeah. About, amen to God. Hallelujah. Jesus. Amen to God. We need Him. Come on. I just, hallelujah. My, my heart breaks for this world. Because I tell you, Jesus is coming back soon. Amen. And if you're not right, you're going to be left behind. <laughs> Come on. I'm serious, praise God. There's groups on Facebook, secret groups. They say Jesus ain't coming back. He's already here. Yeah. But I'm sorry. They're, they're, mis, they're being misinformed by the devil. Amen. 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 The spirit of Antichrist. Hallelujah. And that's all it is. Wickedness is burning hard through the land. Amen. Come on. God have mercy upon us. A nation who once served you. And now we're just going wandering in the wilderness like the children of Israel did. Amen. Amen. Isaiah described these people back in his day. Amen to God. He said they were a people that were filled with pride. Go down to verses 9 and 10 in Isaiah chapter 9. Amen. And all the people shall know, even Ephraim and the inhabitants of Samaria, that they say in the pride and the stoutness of hearts, the bricks are falling down, but we will build with hewn stones. The, sycamore, the sycamores are cut down, but we will change them into cedars. See, God was sending judgment on the Israelite people. Yeah. See, they made two mistakes. The first thing, they ignored the cause of the calamities. Second, they arrogantly boasted that they would rebuild. It's as if they thought that they didn't need God. Yeah. Who does that sound like today? Come on. <laughs> this nation. Amen. What's wrong with America? We've turned Jesus away. Come on. We've turned the preaching of the cross away. Amen. Why do we have problems in school? You turn away the Word of God. Come on. Amen? Come on. Why do kids go to school and shoot each other? Because the Word of God is not in the schools no more. Amen. You've got politicians who don't want to put the Word, praise God, back in the school because it gets them their pockets fatter with money while people are going to hell every day. I hope that money keeps them happy when they're burning in the lake of fire. Come on, Come on now. Don't shout me down. This nation is a nation filled with pride. Yeah. Hallelujah. We got to repent. Come on. The Bible says in Proverbs 16, 18, pride goeth before destruction and a haughty spirit before a fall. Amen. The church. My goodness. God, give me the words to say. Hallelujah. Help me to speak it out the way you showed me. The church today is just so zigzag. When he says he is the way, the truth, and the life, the church is going over here instead of walking the way. Yeah. They're going from this fad to that fad. Come on. And souls are going. Did you know souls are dying right now as we're talking? Yeah. Somebody's entering into eternity right now. Yeah. Mm. Don't that make you wonder? Come on. You know, we do all we can do, praise God, but we can't do everything, Sister Reese. Come on. We're only one person. Yeah. We're only one group. Yeah. But we've got a voice, so going out through the internet, through the, <coughs> through the radio, amen to God, through Facebook and YouTube and CDs and all the stuff we're doing, we're reaching many out, but I just got such a, a, a burden in my heart for souls that are going to hell tonight. Come on. I guess, to Brother Ben, I don't know if you get like this, but have you ever just had such a burden where you can't go to sleep? That you just got to get on your knees and say, God, whatever it takes to get their attention, praise God, do whatever you have to do so they don't go to hell. Amen. It may, they may not love you now, but praise God, they'll thank you for all eternity that, praise God, you prayed for them. Amen. Amen. 
We got children today. God, if it's the Lord tarries and they grow up, I mean, praise God, we're, we're seeing things now as adults. <laughs> but when these kids grow up, and the thing, the worst, it's going to get worse. It's not going to get any better. Come but on. praise God, Jesus said this would happen. Amen to God. Yeah. If you read Matthew 24, praise God, we're seeing that chapter fulfilled day in and day out. Come Amen. on now. Yeah. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. As bad as it's getting, I know, praise God. Praise God, He's coming back soon. Come on. And we that have a hope in Jesus, Come praise on. God, we know where we're going. Amen. We know it's going to be okay. Yeah. But at the moment, we're going through trials and tribulations. Come on. Praise God, if we just turn back to God, 2 Chronicles 7, 14, if my people which are yes. called by my Amen. name shall humble themselves and pray and turn from the, I, I may have to twist around, seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. Yeah. He said, I will heal their land, Come amen, on. God, and forgive yeah. their sins, amen. Come on. He's talking to his church, amen. Yeah, amen. My Lord in heaven. First Peter 5, 5 says, Likewise, ye younger, submit yourselves unto the elder. Young people don't know everything. Amen to God. You need to sit underneath somebody who's wise in the Word. Amen? Come on. Yea, all you be subject one to another and be clothed with humility, for God resisteth the proud and gives <coughs> grace to the humble. We all need to be humble more than we are. Yeah. God, our prayer tonight is, Lord, let us be humble like you are. Amen to God. Amen. And never have a spirit of pride about us. Amen. Hallelujah. Because I've learned in my life that the humble you are, when you're humble like Jesus, you'll go above and beyond for everybody. Come on. Lord, let us have the love you had at the cross. Amen to God. Yeah. That's, that's what my prayer is. I told Brother Billy the other day in a text message. I said, I got down and I said, Lord, I said, if there's any area in my life, Mike Kelsley's life, that would hinder the, the move, the revival that you've promised us, Come I on. said, reveal it to me, Lord. Any area. Lord, if I've done something to somebody Come and on. I'm not even aware of, Lord, reveal it to me so I can make it right. I don't want to be a hindrance Amen. to your move. I don't want there to be sin in the camp. Amen? Come on. Remember Aiken? When he partook of the accursed thing, he hid it in his tent. Yeah. Dug a hole and hid it there. And Come Joshua on. and the Israelites couldn't understand why are we losing the battle when God said we had the victory. Come on. And God said, there's sin in the camp. <clears throat> now, I'm not meaning that, that, that we're sinners, amen, to God. We've done, we've done wrong or anything. But we may have thought a bad thought. We may have said something about somebody. Maybe we didn't mean to. But maybe Come it's on. hindering the move of the Spirit. You know what I mean? Yeah. Praise God. First thing you say when you say that, people think you've done, done the awfulest thing in the world. You went out here and committed the awfulest sin. You've, you've had an affair. You stole money or something like that. No. You may have thought things. You may have done things, praise God, unbeknownst to you that's hindering, amen to God, God moving on you. Amen? Amen. But it's still wrong. It's still sin. Sin needs to be confessed and turned, amen to God, and put under the blood of Jesus. Amen? Amen. So I prayed that. I said, Lord, whatever area, and the Lord showed me an area, amen to God, that I had to deal with. And it was unforgiveness on me. Come it on. was unforgiveness I was holding against another individual. Praise God. See, I, I can only use me as an example. I can't use nobody else because you know what? I have to give an account for myself to God. I can't Come do on. it for my wife for my kids, for my family. I yeah. can only do it for Mike Helsley. You Amen. can only do it for yourself. Amen to God. Amen. Hallelujah. And you've got to give an account daily. You should get down daily and say, Lord, if there's anything in me that's pleasing to you, Lord, bring it to the light. Praise God so I can make it right. Amen. Amen. Lord, let me be humble with it. Praise Amen. God. It don't mean you're an awful person going to hell. It just means you want to try to live right and serve the Lord. Amen. Because this wickedness is running wild across the land today. Amen? Amen. Whew, glory to God. And I'll be honest with you about something else. I've had the, the spirit of pride on me before. How many's ever had it? I think we all have. Amen? Yeah. I had to ask the Lord to forgive me, praise God. The, the situation going on now, praise God, with our finances. I had a, an individual come to me the other day and said, we want to bless you. And I'm like, well, no, no, no. I, you know, I don't need it. And the Holy Ghost was saying... I'm trying to help you. 
Yeah. I'm trying to, you ask me for help, and you're turning it away because you're proud. Woo. Thank God He still speaks to you like that. Amen? Amen. So I said, Lord, forgive me. Please forgive me of being proud because that, that proudness came on me. It's like you don't want people to know you're going through things. Come on now. Yeah, amen. Amen to God, Brother Rodney. I know what you're going through, praise God. But you're going through, amen. Come on. Hallelujah. So I had to make that right before God because I don't want nothing in my counselor's life yeah. to be a hindrance to anybody. Come on. I want when people hear me or see me or hear my name that they can say, you know what? He lives truly for Jesus. Come on. He's not perfect. Don't claim to be. I mess up. I make mistakes. I stumble. Praise God. But the grace of God is sufficient for us all. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you ought to give God a hand clap of praise for Amen. that. Hallelujah. Give him, just give Him a hand clap for the grace. Because His grace, amen, God, is why you're sitting here tonight. Amen. His grace is why we're assembled together. Before two or three are gathered together in my name, yeah. there am I in the midst of them also. Amen. Yeah, That's yeah. all He wants. He wants two or three to come together in the name of Jesus. Come praise on. God. And then things can happen. Amen. Amen. Woo! Go red. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. We've got to just stop being so proud. We've got to be humble. Amen? Amen. Abraham Lincoln made this statement 150 years ago. Listen to that. How many knows Abraham Lincoln loved the Lord? Amen? Amen. Praise God. He, 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 I, I thank God he took a stand to get the slaves free. Praise Amen. God. How no man should be in bondage. Amen? Come Jesus on. came to set you free. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. You're talking about a slave. Amen to God. Hallelujah. He took on sin. Amen to God. So we all can be free. Praise Come God. On. For whom the Son sets free yes. is free indeed. Hallelujah. Amen. So when he did that at the cross, black people were made free. White oh. people were made free. Yeah. Chinese people were made Come free. On. Indians were made free. Come on now. There's no racism in God. Go red. Hallelujah. Oh. Praise God. God don't see no color either. Amen. We shouldn't either. Go over to God. Amen. Unless it's on paper. Amen. Or clothes. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Praise God. I was telling Brother Robin, he wouldn't mind me. Y'all remember Brother Robin coming here last time. I was telling him. He said, Brother Mike, he said, he said, I'm a black man. I said, Whoo, you are? Yeah. I said, I didn't even notice. Yeah, come on. He said, Do you think they like me? I said, They love you down there. Amen. I said, Praise God. I thought you were going to start taking off running there when you got to speak it. Amen. Yeah. But you know, he said, Brother Mike, he said, I don't mean to be like that. He said, But you know, society has just made us to where if if you're an, an you know, one black person around white people or one white person around black people that the first thing Come people on. think is that, uh-oh, color. Yeah. I said, brother, I said, they love you. Amen. Amen to God. And he's like, you know what? I felt it. Come on. I Amen. said, hallelujah to God. I said, you know what? Because there's no color. Praise God. When Come you got on. the love Amen. of God, everybody loves you. Praise God. Because Jesus didn't sit on the cross and say, well, I'm dying just for white folk or Come I'm on. dying for black folk. He said, I'm dying for all mankind. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Brother Rob said he just loves it down here. He said this is about the only church besides the one he goes to that you can actually be free in the Spirit. Come on. That's sad. Isn't that sad? Amen. I'll tell you, there's about 60-something churches in Hopkinsville, Kentucky up there, and not a one of them. On. Not a, a, not, I, maybe on my one hand that you yeah. can really go there. And really just be free in the spirit. I mean, I'm just being honest about it. That's sad. Yeah. I mean, I don't know how many churches here in Livermore, but praise God, if you're in Livermore, y'all to come to this one. Amen. Amen. I'm not trying to be mean to any other church, but praise God. This is about the only church I'd want to come to, but praise God, amen. Come on. But you can talk about the cross, amen, and the blood of Jesus. Abraham. Woo, glory. Hallelujah. Don't get mad at me for saying that, brother, but it's just the truth, amen. I you know. But Abraham Lazar, Brother Lincoln. Abraham. All right. <laughs> Brother Lincoln said, he said, We've grown in numbers and wealth and power as no other nation has grown. He said, We vainly imagined in the deceitfulness of our own hearts that all these blessings were produced by some superior wisdom and some virtue and doing of our own. Intoxicated with unbroken success, 
We have become too self-sufficient, too proud to pray that God has made us, that God has blessed us, that God has died for us, that God made us all free. It is not our place to keep anybody in bondage. It is our place to give them the Word of God, amen, that can change their life and set them free. Amen. Oh, glory to God. Thank God that He made that. Yeah. Quote, amen, 150 years ago. Hallelujah. Come on. Glory to God. He said, We have been intoxicated with unbroken success. We've been made, we have become too self sufficient, too proud. Yeah. We're intoxicated. The church is intoxicated with success. Yeah. I'm getting so tired of these TV preachers on. getting on there talking about, praise God, you can be successful in real estate. I mean, come on now. We're not selling. we not selling lots in heaven. Praise God. Come on. We try to get people one so they don't go to hell. Amen. Amen. Can I still say that, brother Billy? Amen. Is that okay? We all have me back because I said about going to hell. Amen. My my, what a powerful statement Abraham Lincoln made, and that's the truth today. Amen. We need to say, God, forgive us of being intoxicated with the things of this world. Amen. Help us to be humble like you are, Jesus. The next thing Isaiah uh, brought out here in verse 16, that they were internally perplexed. Isaiah 9, 16 said, For the leaders of this people caused them to err. Did you hear that? The leaders yeah. caused the people to err. Yeah. And that they are led of them, they are destroyed. Verse yeah. 19 says, Through the wrath of the Lord of hosts is the land darkened, and the people shall be as the fuel of the fire, no man shall spare his own brother. Come on. God have mercy upon the pastors who's not preaching the gospel. We want to see true revival break out? Preach the truth. Come on. We want to see revival break out? Start practicing what you preach, man of God. Woman of God, amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Start living, amen, to God, what the Word of God says. I don't see how we can be an example, praise God, if we're living separate lives. If we, Sundays and Wednesdays or Tuesdays or whenever, if we go up we preach and in the other days we're doing opposite what we say. Amen? Come on. That makes us what? A hypocrite? Yes. Hypocrites don't enter in the kingdom of heaven. Amen? Come on. And if we want to see revival break out, it's time to start living right. Amen to God? Amen. We're living in perplexity today, amen? We need to get back and let the Word of God straighten us out of all this confusion, amen? Amen. I like what one preacher said. He said, there's not 50 states in America, there's 51. God said, what do you mean? He said, the 51st state is a state of confusion. Come on. Where a lot of people live, amen? Yeah. amen. Glory to God. He said, we ought to change Washington and name it confusion, amen, to God. Come on. Because there's so much of that there. Amen. Washington, D.C. is just... Home headquarters to the devil. Come on. I just said that. Amen to God. And I don't take it back because it's the truth. They've allowed the devil to get in there. They've allowed the devil to get into the White House. They've allowed the Come devil on. to get into Congress. They've allowed the devil to bring his false doctrine. Hallelujah to God up in there. They've allowed Satan to take over and spew out his poison. They've Come allowed on. the devil to come up in there and okay abortion. Come I tell you, God is amen. not pleased. Amen, amen to God. Hallelujah. You kill a baby. Amen to God. You're a murderer. Come on. Praise God. Amen. I don't care if it is called a partial birth abortion. Amen to God. You're still a murderer and you amen. need to repent and get saved. Amen. Praise God. But the devil's spewing this out. If you mess up, because really the truth is when they get an abortion, they're just trying to cover up a sin they did. Come on. When they committed fornication, amen to God. Oh, I'm going there to help me, Holy Ghost. Amen. Come on. Are we going to get kicked off the air for saying that? Amen. I'm telling the truth, though. Yeah. The devil has spewed his doctrine over Washington, D.C. with abortion. He spewed it over with homosexuality. Praise God. They say it's okay for two men to get married. Amen to God. Have a Come lifestyle on. because God is a God of love. I'm telling you right now, that's the most sickening thing I've ever Come seen on. in my life. I could not kiss another man. Praise God. More or less lay down with another man. It is sin. It is wrong. In the, it's an abomination in the eyes of God. Amen. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. And any preacher that condones it and amen to God welcomes it in, you are just as guilty as they are. Come on. Woo! Go over to God. He has spewed His doctrine over this nation through homosexuality, through abortion, amen to God, through other false doctrines, letting other gods in. 
Yeah. Allah. Yeah. God forbid they built a temple down in Bowling Green, Kentucky. What do they call it? Mosque? Is that what it is? They had this big old security gates. When I was when I was traveling with the last job I worked at, when I would drive down there, I went by this one apartment complex that was near. They had this big old black gate, looked like a prison gate around it. And they had signs out there that says, Do not enter. If caught, you will be prosecuted by the law. Because what it is, and I'll say it, praise God, they ought to set fire to that thing and burn it to the ground. And then they ought to take the ashes and they ought to make them drink it. Y'all remember that day they, they burned, was it, the, 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 the graven images back in the Old Testament? Yeah. And they made them drink the ashes of it? Be a, it leave a bitter taste in your mouth. I know, praise God, I'm getting stern right now, but I tell you, we need to preach the gospel. We need to preach an amen to God. Come on. Hallelujah. Christians today will go to jail for what they believe, but Muslims, if you say something to a Muslim, praise God, they're going to kill you dead. But a Muslim can go in here and say, my God is Allah. Yeah. Mm-mm-mm. -mm. If true revival would break out, Brother Billy, that would stop. Come on. If true revival, amen to God, if the church would get back to the Word of God, it would stop. Amen? Hallelujah. They ignored the warnings. Hallelujah. Isaiah 9.13, For the people turneth not unto him that smiteth them, neither do they seek the Lord of hosts. The church today is turned away from God. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. That should be our banner, amen, to God. Call on Jesus while you've got time. Come on. Have mercy. Judgment must begin at the house of God. How many, how many still believes that? Amen. Judgment must begin at the house of God. It must start right here, amen, Come to on. God. Yeah. It must start with us, amen, to God. If we're going to make a difference today, we've got to be on our face before God. That's why I appreciate you, brother. When I text you at times, you'll say I'm down at the church praying. How many pastors you know come to the church every day and pray? I'm not saying that to lift you up. I'm just saying I don't see that anymore. I don't hear about it anymore. Very rarely do I hear it. Amen? Come on. Thank God you do that. Sister Reese, thank God that you support Brother Billy, amen to God. Amen. I know it's tough. It's tough when you got a ministry, praise God, doing the work God is. It's tough, amen. Hallelujah. Thank God for people, praise God, who live for Jesus. Amen. I think I dropped my water, I'm sure. I was talking about Matthew 24 a while ago. Let me read a few verses to you, and then we're going to be done. We can go home. Amen. Come on. You're probably saying, Brother Mike, hallelujah. Hush up. This is burning in my spirit. I haven't, I haven't had no, not. I just, I've been burdened about this. I've been burdened at the fact that this nation, this world, is going to hell so easily. Yeah. And the church just don't seem like they care. Amen. Come on. Preachers don't seem like they care. Yeah. I'm bothered by it. I mean, when, when you spend more of your time and attention on building a building instead of praying for lost souls, something's wrong. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Whew. Matthew 24, verses 37 through 44. He's showing us here about the approaching judgment that's coming. He said, But as the days of Noah were, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. For as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage until the day that Noah entered into the ark. And knew not until the flood came and took them all away. So shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. Then shall two be in the field, one shall, the one shall be taken and the other left. Two women shall be grinding at the mill, the one shall be taken and the other left. He said, Watch therefore, for ye know not what hour your Lord doeth come. But know this, that if the good men of the house had known in what, what watch the thief would come, he would have watched and would have not suffered his house to be broken up. Verse 44, Therefore, be ye also ready, for in such an hour as ye think not, the Son of Man cometh. 
Yeah. See, before we get done tonight, Jesus could come back. And I don't have a doubt in my heart, not a, there's not a, one of us in this place right here that wouldn't go. Because we would. I believe it with every fiber of my being, church. But like I said a while ago, there's people dying right now as we speak. Before we're done tonight, there's going to be dozens, probably thousands of people who die worldwide. Come on. Where are they going? We need to be ready. We need to get ready, praise God. We need to be prepared, praise God. We need to keep our lamps trimmed and our lights burning, praise God, daily. We need to be a light to this wicked, wretched world out here because all they know is darkness. Come on. And we are to be the light bearers. We are to let the light shine through us, which is Jesus Christ, and do our part that God has called us to do. Amen? Amen. If we can do that, and we can get on the same page, praise God. Everybody get on the same page and quit fighting about you're right, I'm right. If we can do that, we can see a difference. I'm talking about a change, amen. To God. I'm talking about, praise God, we can see the church reunite and become so unstoppable we can flood down the gates of hell, praise God, and no devil, no demon, no false doctrine, nothing can stop the true living church of Almighty God. Amen? Amen. The bride of Christ can walk. Amen to God. Hallelujah. When a bride gets ready to get married, they walk down that aisle so Come proudly. On. Praise God. They so beautiful. Praise God. Because they go in to see their bridegroom. The church can do that today. If Come we on. get right, we can walk down that aisle with our head held high because Jesus is our bridegroom. Oh! Come glory on. to God. Amen. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. If we get on the same page and get ready, praise God. We can conquer death, hell, and the grave just like Jesus did. Because He's given us the same power. Amen? Come on. Praise God. We just got to get united. We got to come together in one mind and one accord. Amen? Amen? Like they did in the upper room. And when we do that, we'll see the Holy Ghost poured out. Amen. Praise God. Don't y'all want to have another praise God upper room experience like they did? I'm ready to start seeing Christians get drunk again. I'm ready to, I don't Come mean on. in the natural. I'm talking about the spiritual. I'm ready to start seeing them fall out on the floor, Come rolling on. around. Praise God. I'm ready to start hearing people speak in tongues. Somebody jump up and give the interpretation. I'm ready to start seeing people lay hands on the sick and they recover right Come then on. and there. I'm ready to start seeing, praise God, bondage is broken. I'm ready to start seeing limbs that weren't there grow back because Whoa. he said these things would follow Hallelujah. us the believers praise God signs wonders and miracles praise God hallelujah I'm ready to start seeing that and if we want to see it praise God we got to repent get right before God let the blood wash us clean and march and move onward in Come the on. name of Jesus Amen. take back what God has given us hallelujah to the yes. Lamb of God and go on with the victory in Jesus because how many know Victory is mine. Victory is mine. Come on now, say Amen. it with me. Amen. Victory Amen. is mine. Come on. I told Satan, hallelujah, yes. to get thee behind. Whoa, oh, hallelujah. victory today victory is, is mine. mine. Let's say it together, church. Come on, stand on your feet. Victory is mine. Victory, victory. is mine. Victory today is mine. Oh, hallelujah. Well, I told Satan, you better get thee behind. Hallelujah. Victory, Victory today, today is mine. Is it yours today? Oh, hallelujah. If you got the victory, just lift your hand and say, Thank you, Jesus. Jesus, thank you, Jesus. He's given us the victory today, church. Uh -uh -uh. Hallelujah. Father, we come before you now in Jesus' precious name. We thank you, Lord, tonight for your word. Hallelujah. Father, I just pray, Lord God, Lord, we could just stay humble. That we would decrease, Lord, as You increase. Lord, that You would just use us willing vessels, Lord God, for Your glory. Father God, I just pray, Lord, if there's anything in us, Lord, that's displeasing to You, that hinders revival, that hinders the move of the Spirit, Lord God, bring it to the light, that we may make it right, Lord God. No matter if it's a bad thought, if we've done a bad deed, whatever it is, Lord, that's contrite to Your Word. We just want to be, hallelujah, be used of You, Lord God. We want You to, hallelujah, we're vessels in Your hand. We're instruments in Your hands. We're on the potter's wheel, Lord God. 
Use us, Lord God, to bring in this great revival that You've promised us, Lord. Give us the right words to say. Give us anointed words from Your Spirit. For we ask it all in Jesus' precious name. And everybody said, Amen, amen and Amen.